Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make things explode and disappear and have a cool effect after they disappear. And I guess they play, this, play a sound as well in like a few seconds. So after, for example, five seconds, the thing explodes and it makes a cool effect and noise. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we have Naruto and uh, Luffy. And uh, yeah, I guess... Um, Luffy is going to explode. So uh, I think it's pretty cool, especially with this effect. You can get these effects. I think it's called Elementals on the Asset Store. And the script, you can well uh, see how I did it here. It's a really basic script. Um, so it involves this. So in the start function, or actually let me start from the beginning. So we have a game object called effect, which is the desired effect that appears, that gets created when the thing explodes. And a float time, which is the time uh, that we want the thing to explode. So after that certain time, the thing explodes. You might also, I might do another video if you can do it yourself. For example, when you enter a trigger, something explodes and has the same effect. So that might be a bit more useful. But I haven't done videos um, related to time, I guess, and explosion. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how you can make things explode here and get destroyed after a few seconds using a different function. So stay tuned for that as well, I guess. So we make a void called explode. Um, it's so fun the function called explode. It's a custom function. Um, so in it, I just instantiate the effect at the game object trans dot transform dot position and its rotation. You can uh, change this to not be Luffy's position. You can, for example, go and create an empty game object, um, place it like if the, if your um, if the uh, your object center is somewhere, for example, beneath the ground, the effect might not might not show up pretty good. So you can create a custom um, position, I guess place it over here and just uh, make a new variable called public um, transform for example um, explode or effect position I guess and just instead of game object dot transform dot position type only um, for example uh, what's what did I say uh, effect position and effect rotation and then after it's instantiated we destroy the game object now we call this function in the invoke function in the start um, function well, a lot of functions there but um, so invoke we're calling explode after five seconds so that's a pretty cool way to have the effect that I show you before but if you don't want these explosions or anything if you want to keep it really basic you can uh, do it like this so none of we don't need literally any of these I guess for this so I'm just gonna go here and um, uh, un uh, comment out the selected lines uh, this too I guess I'll comment it as well and you can just type um, destroy which is a destroy function that we use over here um, put the for example um, whatever we're gonna call a game object and then um, call colon uh, and float time so here we type time so this just um, removes um, all of the effect and on the start at the beginning of the scene at the loading of the game it destroys it after five seconds but now as you can see it destroyed it immediately which I'm not sure why it did that but um, probably because I haven't saved yet um, let's see um, let me just click on Luffy yeah the time is like two <laughs> like three seconds so I'll just put the time on three seconds and uh, as you can see he just disappears after three seconds so you can use both of these depending on what kind of effect you want and uh, yeah I guess that's pretty simple in another video I'll probably do the same thing but with the triggers so when you walk through for example um, when you walk through this cube right here let me just put it in the middle um, I guess Luffy gets destroyed or explodes so yeah